Hey guys, we're back here again. This will probably be the uh, last video for today because the weather's getting kind of crappy outside right now. So this will be the last video for today regarding the uh, magazine reviews and the initial you know, inspection, checking them out and stuff like that. What we have right here is the uh, new generation of um, Shore Feed magazines. This is the Shore Feed, uh, where's it at here, made by Oki Industries. Let me get it out of the bag here for reference. I can show you what it looks like here specifically for that because the light's getting kind of crappy out here today. So I apologize for that guys so let me just sing out of here real quick come on get out of there okay hold on guys I gotta get this thing situated better here I just want to show you the packaging for reference as well too so you can do that okay here we go sorry about that this is the uh, shore feed made by OK Industries right here this is the uh, generation I call it generation E2 uh, shore feed let me, get the, let me get that. I can probably just take it out of this bag right here for reference. So we'll do that, guys. Okay, here we go. Sure Feed Generation uh, E2 version right here, made by uh, OK Industries. Air 15 Magazine 223 Remington 556 and the 300 uh, AAC Black Eye made in the United States. 30 Ryan Magazine. And this is the Sure Feed E2 designation right here for reference right here. And this is the Tactical Black. Uh, version right here and here's the back of the actual tag right here made in the United States proven stuff patented uh, feed lip design anti-tilt faller texture magazine boy for added grip and mill spec stainless steel spring mill spec hard or I should say heat tree aluminum and hard coat anodized finish on the magazine right here and as usual they have the I tier logo at the bottom down. You cannot export this stuff because it's a magazine and it's a control item. And down here you got the magazine's uh, uh, manufacturer website, made by Surefeed Magazines, New Britain, Connecticut, right there. Uh, OK Industries. So that's everything about it, about the actual uh, identification and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and show you what the magazine looks like here. Here's the magazine. Five five six. Sure feed. Got a nice uh, little dimples all along the whole magazine body right here, so that will aid in grabbing if you have like gloves or you're um you you got something in your hands that's relatively slippery, and you have the designation right here for the 556 United States patent number information right here as well too. Get it? Go ahead and get a roll. And here's the front portion of the magazine where the uh, welds are right here. Looks great. Well, it'll look great. I don't see any kind of defects with those. Look nice all along the whole front portion of the magazine. So we'll show you the bottom of the magazine well too. Got the bottom of the magazine. Have their uh, their logo on the bottom right down here as well too. Okay, Industries. So here, let me get a better shot here for you. There we go. Looks nice. There we go. It looks a little bit better right there, guys. So you can get a better shot. Looks great. And then the other side right here as well, too. Has their logo up here. OK Industries. Another number designation right here. Uh, that might be like a date of manufacture, 319 possibly. I don't know. And you have the uh, 556 caliber designation on the uh, portion of the body right here as well too. And below that, you have the Surefeed name. And I believe this is this is the company who uh, originally made the um, uh, AR-15 magazines for the original M16 as well too. So uh, this is a company that has a long track record of producing quality uh, magazines for your AR-15, M16, M4 style platform right there as well too. So. It'll be a shot of the back of the, my back of the magazine as well too again. Wells look great. And we'll give you a shot of the feed lip area right here as well too guys. So let me get this thing out of the way here. Got a little bit of wind out here today again. And there's your uh, follower and the uh, feed lip area. They do have a quote revised or you know updated uh, feed lip area right here for reference. So. That's what the feed lip area looks like with the uh, follower. Looks great. You put that down and hold the camera out of the way here. 
be a better shot here. I'm just gonna try to do this, guys. Okay, that's what the feed lip area looks like. So it looks great. We'll be doing a function test with his magazine up camp as soon as humanly possible. Get your mag body again. Nice gripping surface on your nice texture. And here's the uh, bottom of the magazine as well too. The, uh, Seems to be a better shot here for you. It's kind of dark, so it can't really give you too good of an angle here. So I'm just trying to do as best I can here. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. That looks a little better, but uh, it's still kind of blurry. Sorry about that. Okay. That's been a quick review for the Short Fire magazine for the initial inspection of the magazine out of the packaging. So we'll be doing a uh, review once we can take it up the cabin and uh, do a further uh, test of the functionality for the magazine as well too. So follower looks good, nice and smooth, no problems with that. It has the anti-tilt uh, bolt or anti-tilt follower I should say. So it's not being uh, moving, you know, down on the front. Looks good for that looks great so good review guys no problem anybody has any comments questions whatnot feel free to uh, leave me a message here and we'll try to get back to you probably within 24 or 48 hours after you post some kind of a uh, question to this uh, video i'll see you guys have a nice day